Okay guys, here it is. I think it's the first Acom 600S solid state linear that is sold in whole totally Europe. Uh, this is the first time you will see this in a shack of an amateur radio operator. I'm ON4VP or Oscar Radio 5 Alpha and I just got the first Acom 600S solid state 600 watts PEP amplifier which will be the little brother of the Acom 2000 which is already in the shack so uh, I just uh, hooked up the socket for the uh, mains and uh, I will now uh, install it and uh, uh, you can uh, participate with me with this video uh, to see how it will run for the first time it will be connected through CAT with the ICOM IC7410 and uh, you will see this uh, video in a moment. Before I hook it up to uh, the radio, uh, let me first show uh, the connectors on the back side of the uh, amplifier. Uh, on the right hand side you have the uh, serial port uh, for remote controlling and uh, commands that you can send with uh, a proper software. Uh, below that you have a uh, HD15 VGA uh, connector uh, to run uh, the CAT or control for the band switch, PTT and uh, ALC and stuff like that. Uh, you also have the key in and key out uh, RCA uh, jacks. So uh, you have two methods to key the amp. And on the uh, left hand side you can actually see the RF out and input and the uh, switch for the mains and of course the uh, ground rod and uh, last but not least uh, there's a very big fan which indicate that the amplifier will run very smoothly uh, without making too much noise uh, here in the radio operating room and uh, this is the first serial number of the Acom 600S uh, which has been sold in Europe so I'm very happy uh, to uh, show this video to you uh, and uh, to uh, get familiar with this uh, amplifier. So uh, the uh, amplifier is switched on and uh, I can demonstrate you uh, some things. Uh, I have the uh, CAT or CAT connection uh, made with the uh, ICOM IC7410. Uh, uh, let me switch off uh, the radio because you can hear it in the background. So you can hear it here, and I will switch it off. And actually, you can see that the amplifier will shut down also because of uh, the remote control, which is very nice. Um, it uh, uses a pulse signal on uh, a DC voltage uh, to monitor uh, remote controlling, so you can actually uh, work from uh, the internet and uh, work with this amplifier remote. I will switch the radio back on. And you hear the uh, the beep, the, the the beeps of the Acom, which now will uh, actually uh, start to uh, boot up, and uh, within a few moments uh, you will see the display. There it is with the small beeps that it is online and ready to use. Um, actually, let me turn down the volume. Um, I can uh, run through the menus. Uh, first of all on the top uh, left of the screen you have uh, the forward power bar uh, which is always uh, visible. Uh, below that uh, the two other bars is the PA temperature and uh, on the right hand side is the reflected power. Uh, also uh, the three bars has a uh, number field uh, in the corners uh, which uh, that you can monitor the actually uh, output power and uh, temperature and reflected power. Uh, just below that is uh, a, a big bar uh, in yellow and uh, on the uh, right hand and the left hand side in the brown uh, bar um, there are two fields and those fields can be selected from within a menu and you can uh, have all kinds of uh, information uh, in that two fields. Uh, and uh, on the lower uh, hand side of the uh, the LCD screen you have the standby and operate switch which can also be automatically uh, uh, operated 
and uh, you have uh, if you're not controlling uh, the uh, amplifier by radio you can manually switch bands you still can do that uh, and uh, then on this uh, here is the uh, visualization of the uh, radio control uh, here is the menu so when I push the menu you get uh, a small bar with uh, information and all kind of sub menus to choose from uh, the first one is uh, measurement if you select this one uh, you will see two fields uh, two uh, rows of fields uh, which uh, are visible uh, all the time so um, if you now apply power or stuff uh, all the uh, the measurements will be taking place uh, the two uh, the two fields that are highlighted uh, those fields will appear in the big yellow bar uh, while operating so actually uh, if you like to uh, set another type of information on uh, the front screen uh, you can select it here and then exit the menu and uh, uh, you will have this information constantly uh, in this uh, big uh, yellow bar so that's uh, very convenient uh, you have all kinds of uh, parameters and information right on the screen in front of you uh, next uh, in the menu we have the uh, service amp service uh, if you select this one uh, you will have uh, all information about the electronics inside it's a self diagnostic uh, that is running and also you can monitor the last folds that are uh, have been uh, memorized and stuff like that you can also run uh, speeds for the fans and check if everything will be okay so for example let me uh, show you the fan speeds uh, when I select the on it goes in first speed actually it's turning already now I go to second speed maybe you can hear it already speed 3 and maximum speed and that is something you can hear uh, nice to tell you is also that um, the amplifier uh, has two uh, fans, uh, a very big and large one on the back of the, uh, ray, uh, the amplifier, uh, which does not come on uh, from the start. Uh, and on the left hand side of the, uh, the, the amplifier you also have a smaller fan uh, for the, uh, the power supply. Um, the nice thing is that in standby mode fans will not run so it's a very quiet uh, amplifier and also if you start to use it uh, below 30 uh, uh, degrees centigrade the uh, fans does not come on so it's very nice and very well uh, set up so it's a very quiet amplifier and actually uh, if you run it in normal 600 watts uh, not heavy duty cycle uh, it, it will stay quiet all the time and in in the first fan speed it's as quiet as an Acom 1000 or an Acom 2000 so uh, very well, ma well made uh, okay let me uh, exit this menu uh, yes yeah, sorry I also can uh, show you in the menu um, the next stuff is the CAT settings uh, if you select this uh, you get all kind of uh, possibilities uh, on the back of the uh, amplifier you have a connection uh, which will run to the radio uh, actually you can put the interface off uh, is the first choice you can put it on uh, serial commands it's RS232 two, uh, two, two. Uh, TTL mode like uh, the uh, ICOM uh, CIV uh, or uh, BCD it's for Yesu uh, the band control data and then uh, if you have an analog system it's voltage it's from 0 to plus 8 volts right now I'm using this one on my uh, uh, IC7410 because uh, the CAT is controlling the ACOM 2000 and uh, my uh, ultra beam antenna and uh, simultaneously I can use the uh, analog band voltage uh, to uh, let the uh, amplifier follow the bands that I choose on the radio okay let me exit this menu uh, next uh, we have user preferences uh, if you select this one uh, actually you can put it uh, in uh, automatic menu exit uh, which will tell you that if you left uh, if you are leaving the menu like this uh, after uh, uh, an amount of seconds uh, it will return to the uh, main menu uh, auto operate will tell you that uh, uh, you can actually uh, when the, the amplifier is switched on uh, put itself in operate mode I do not do that I like to switch it manually myself 
Uh, you have beep volume control. You can put beeps off or uh, you can put it quite loud. Uh, then you have also the display brightness. Uh, the hello message, uh, you can put anything inside. I have put my call sign inside and uh, the temperature can put in Fahrenheit or in centigrade. So let me see that uh, there are more things uh, that can be said. No, that's about it. So uh, I can exit this menu. Um, uh, fault logs uh, is self-explanatory. You need uh, fault logs if you want to uh, review something. And I think, I'm not sure because I'm just exploring everything. Um, yes, you can write it into a file. That's very nice. So you can actually save it to a file and retrieve it by uh, serial port uh, to your computer, uh, which is very nice uh, for support uh, by Acom Bulgaria. Um, and actually you can see here all the data that is being uh, transmitted by that port. So uh, in this also you can see that it's running for about an hour now, it's uh, quite new and uh, the call sign is inside the, uh, the stuff that uh, it's uh, shown here on the uh, screen. Okay, uh, I think that's about it for this menu, so I go uh, exit here and go back to the main. So I believe that I can show you now a little bit of operating mode. Uh, first of all, I can tell you that uh, the drive power uh, is very low. Um, it is uh, being stated in the manual that you need 25 watts uh, to drive it to full 600 watts. Well, I can tell you that already with 15 to 17 watts I get full output power and um, it easily goes up to 700 if you want, but I don't think that's, uh, that's uh, meant to be. But anyway, um, it's actually uh, no error protection at that moment with 25 watts. Um, let me show you the band switching with the anvil voltage, so I'm now on 40 meters. Uh, if I switch to 10 meters on the radio, uh, let me sh check that, okay, like this, oh yes, sorry. Uh, I need to do something, I need to put it in uh, operating mode, and that's something I, I find quite particular, and then uh, the analog will follow, the analog band switching, it's very strange. So I put it now on 10 and then you can see it switched on 30 meters on 10 megacycles. If I go to 15 meters on the radio, uh, it will follow on 15 meters. If I go to uh, 80 meters, it will follow on 80 meters. Uh, so that's all working fine. But the only thing, it needs to be in operating mode. So in standby mode, it will not follow. And that's something I have to check with ACOM why it doesn't do that. Maybe it will do that in TTL or RS232 in uh, serial mode. but in analog band voltage it will not follow perhaps it's still a small bug I don't know uh, but uh, if I change it it will not follow uh, uh, for example so back on 21 uh, let me find the free spot because I do not have the dummy lot right here uh, or let me take 24 and uh, I can uh, check and we'll be back uh, within a moment uh, to uh, let you see a bit of the output power so I'm in standby uh, at the moment on 10 meters. Uh, I found a free spot and I put it in RTTY so I have a continuous carrier. carrier. And um, let me first show you what you can see actually on the display. Uh, uh, okay, uh, first of all, um, the temperature is 29 degrees centigrade. Uh, we do not have power at the moment, so now I'm going into uh, push to talk. And now you can see 12 watts in the right uh, upper corner. Um, and I get an SWR of 1.0. I will turn up the power of my ICOM. And you can see 50 watts now, 50 watts. Uh, and uh, the SWR is still perfect. It's with the Ultra Beam, it's very well matched. So I can go up uh, until uh, 92 watts, uh, which is the real uh, output that I can has been shown here. So let me turn it back to about uh, 10 watts, 10 watts at the moment. Uh, this is 10 watts. Now I put it in operate and let me show you the power is already 538 watts with uh, 10 watts of drive. It's actually, uh, and, uh, as you can see here now, the SWR is 1.11 and the gain is 15.7 dB. So it's very nice, it's, it shows you that. Uh, right, uh, and now I can also show you on the menu if I do the amp measurement, 
and select this one you can see all the fields now which will illuminate and so you get 14 watts of drive we get 538 watts of uh, output power uh, reflected power is 1 watt SWR is 1.1 the actually uh, real output power is 530 uh, power gain is 15.7 uh, so all the measurement is here uh, very nice now if for example I go down here and uh, I will show you the um, DC current it's 17.5 amps if I leave that here and put exit uh, you can see it now uh, on the main screen here and it will uh, let you show uh, the 17.5 uh, amps that it's uh, pulling from the uh, power supply and uh, the SWR so uh, this is with a drive of 14 watts uh, let me go back to the menu and do the measurement again uh, as you can see uh, we have uh, the input power and let me go up again uh, and let me take an, uh, the power again again here on the menu okay uh, here I show you the input power it's 14 watts for almost 600 watts uh, I will increase it a bit as you can see uh, I'm now at 17 watts for 600 watts, 17 watts for 600 watts and 20 watts will give you almost 690 watts, 660, 60, 85 so with 20 watts of drive you got plenty of power with this beautiful Acom 600 uh, solid state which is brand new and I'm glad to be the first one that can show it to you. Thank you for watching this small video, more to come when I open the case and uh, show you the inside of uh, the amplifier next time. Bye bye. This is Oscar Radio 5 America from Belgium signing off with the new Acom 600S, the first one sold in Europe.